our President of the United States. To Capitol Hill for his sixth and penultimate State of the Union, but speaking for the first time before a Republican Congress. A president who'd set out to extricate America from its foreign wars is now having to cope with a myriad of new challenges abroad, not least the jihadist threat to ancient allies like France. We will continue to hunt down terrorists and dismantle their networks, and we reserve the right to act unilaterally, as we have done relentlessly since I took office, to take out terrorists who pose a direct threat to us and our allies. Some members of Congress took their cue from that and made their show of solidarity for those killed in Paris. On the domestic front, Michelle Obama must be pleased that her husband's approval ratings are now edging back up after a dismal few months. The president is hoping he can improve his standing further by proposing tax rises for the very wealthy. That way, he says, everyone can emerge from the financial crisis. We have picked ourselves up dusted ourselves off and begun again the work of remaking America. This speech suggests there's a newfound confidence at the White House that America's economy is bouncing back. That and the fact that Barack Obama doesn't have to fight for re-election means he can afford to be a bit bolder in his final two years in office. Naomi Grimley, BBC News, Washington.